I'm Philip Cameron. I'm so glad you chose to join us today. I believe that God has got you here for a plan and a purpose. There are no mistakes. And I hope you just spend the next wee while with us, listening to the promise of household salvation and realizing how blessed we are to be living in this country, saved and safe. I'm so glad you joined us right here today on Daily Faith. program is here for you and I to connect our the promises of God when you see the the program running in you'll see daily promises and I believe that God's life and God's power to flow through you in your life is the promise that you need to stand up on today I've got news for you whatever your circumstance is it's not done it's not too far for God's, God's grace and mercy and I just encourage you to listen to what the Lord has got to say today. In the Bible, there, were, there was a man, the Bible tells us, that he was sick with palsy. And he was in a, on a stretcher. And he was totally incapacitated. He had no hope other than that stretcher. His world consisted of the world that he saw lying on his back. And into that hopeless situation came a miraculous moment. Someone, we don't know who it is, but someone had an idea. If we can get him to meet Jesus, maybe Jesus can heal him. Because at this time, Jesus was going around healing the sick. In every miracle, someone has to come up with the idea that it's time for a miracle. We always think that miracles are divine events that happen outside of us. I got news for you. There is a human element in every miracle. The loaves and fishes would never have happened without the boy carrying those loaves and fishes to Jesus in the first place. So in this man who was lying there sick, unable to move, someone, I maybe, it, may, it may have been a brother, it may have been a dad, I don't know who it was, but someone made a decision We've got to get Charlie to Jesus. But there's a problem. One man cannot carry a stretcher by himself. He had to find other people that believed like him. And one by one, he talked to folk and said, I've been thinking about this Jesus is walking around healing the sick. He's, ra he's raised dead people, blind people are seeing. I wonder if we can go and get Charlie and we can carry him. He's going to be coming here soon and we can, we can lift Charlie up and we can... And, and this, whoever the first person was, whoever the hero was, he convinced three other people to come alongside and carry the burden. Now they all showed up together. In America that would be kind of hard because we're so busy lives that we can't find the right time to do anything together anymore, it seems. We can hardly have supper together anymore because between TV and Facebook and, and everything else. But these four men got together at the same time and lifted the man up and began a crazy journey to an encounter with Jesus. When they got to the house where Jesus was speaking at, they opened the door and someone fell out because it was so packed tight with people. Now, today, most folk will say, well, I'll tell you what, it's just not the Lord's will. We'll just, we'll just go home. But when you love someone, and they're sick, and in that house is someone that may have an answer for his problem, they believe together. They carried the burden together. And when the obstacles came up, they overcame obstacles together. And the, and the answer is insane. Can you imagine the guy who is paralyzed? He cannot move. He can't hold on. He is, I mean, he is paralyzed. 
neck down paralyzed. And they say, let's go up on the roof and we'll see if we can maybe find a, a skylight or something. And they, they, they lift this fella up on a stretcher up onto the roof. And when they get up there, if, I, if I'd been Charlie lying in the stretcher, I'd been saying, just take me home. I'm fine, guys. Being paralyzed isn't so hard after all. Just, I'd rather be paralyzed than dead. And when they get up on the roof, the Bible tells us that they tore the roof off the house. Let me tell you something. When you're desperate enough in your circumstance, you'll tear roofs off houses. It wasn't their house. They didn't care. Roofs can be fixed. Miracles come maybe once in a lifetime. And they lowered this man down in front of Jesus. And Jesus said to the man, Man, your sins are forgiven you. And the whole crowd inside the house got mad. Huh, who is this man that he can forgive sin? Only God can forgive sin. They overcome criticism together. And then Jesus said, look, just to prove I am who I am, rise, take up your bed and walk. I'm going to tell you something, that there's a power when two people agree is touching something. Something changes in the atmosphere when two folks believe God for the same thing at the same time. The devil can't handle the onslaught of two people seeing something through the eyes of faith and saying, I'm believing God for this. I have a dream and a vision from God for your family to get saved. Do you have enough faith today to agree with me that God's big enough to get into your household and save your husband and your son and your daughters and your grandkids. If you're willing to believe God with me, we can lift this thing together and take it to the cross and there's not a demon in hell that can stop us from seeing God's hand manifest in household salvation. I'm here to prophetically speak to you that it's time for your family to get saved. Oh, Philip, if you knew how bad things are, are they paralyzed, lying in a, in a, in a, in a stretcher? Oh, but you don't understand. My son has been gone for years, and you don't think that God doesn't know where he is? For crying out loud, if man can invent a GPS that you type in an address of somewhere, and they take you wherever it is, don't you know that the Holy Ghost has got a hold of your family, whatever they are. And I want to pray with you and believe God with your miracle. Love is the answer. A song has been ringing inside my soul today, and I just want to just, if you know it, sing it with me. It's really simple. And it goes something like this. Love lifted me. He can do this for your family. Love lifted me when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. Thank you, Jesus. Love is going to lift your family. Out of darkness and sin, love lifted me. When no one else could help, love lifted me. Our family spent 200 years in darkness bound by the curse of alcohol until Jesus came and saved us. If it could happen for us, to agree is touching anything. It will happen for you. I know you feel this in your spirit right now. I know that something inside you has sparked and you're thinking, my goodness, maybe my, maybe my family can be saved. Maybe my son can get saved. Oh, 
Oh, let me tell you something. There is no mistakes in God. There's no accidents. And he had me meet you today. You may have never seen me before, never heard who I, I my name's not important. But my anointing is. I want to pray for your loved ones. There's an address on the screen, P.O. Box 242 246, Montgomery, Alabama. PhilipDcameron.com is the website that you can contact me. And I want you to send me the name of your loved one that you want me to pray over. And we are going to see a miracle take place in the name of Jesus. I've just written a book entitled Full House that is absolutely the answer for your household salvation. I know it is. And I want to put one in your hands. And here's how you can get one. Full House. It's time for household salvation. We'll help you see your unsaved loved ones in a totally different light. God has given Philip insight into God's promise of household salvation. Do you know that you have a covenant throughout Scripture that promises that your family are part of your eternal inheritance? Philip's family was bound in alcoholism for over 200 years. And through the miraculous story as told in Full House, Jesus saved the Camerons. And in the span of six weeks, 67 of the Cameron family were saved. This book will change your life. Order Full House today and believe with Philip to see what God will do in your family. To order, please visit www.philipdcameron.com or call 1-833-DAILY-FAITH or contact us by mail. Post Office Box 242246, Montgomery, Alabama, 36124. I want you to have this book in your home. A man, I, I spoke to a man yesterday, his name, his name is Will, and he, he, I sent him a book. And he said, Philip, it's taken me ages to write, read your book. He said, because I read a page and I put it down and I weep. And I, I pick up the next page. It's the story of how God delivered us from 200 years of alcoholism. It is a saga. It should be a movie. And at the end of the book, I teach you on how you can tear down the strongholds of hell that's holding your family bound. And you can get this right now. Your gift of $30 makes a big difference in this ministry. Your giving helps us do what we do. And for your gift of $30 to help us, we will send you this book. And I promise you, I promise you, it's worth the investment because you're going to see miracles take place in your family in the name of Jesus. I'm with my daughter, Melody, and um, boy, we are having a great time here. And we love, let me tell you something, we love doing what we do. We love talking to you about the things that God has done in our lives. We are a family, a whole family called the Camerons that have been saved from alcoholism. And now we have a purpose that is insane. 30 years ago, my dad called me from Scotland. If you don't, if you're wondering where my accent is, I'm Scottish. And 30 years ago, my father called me and he opened the line, the, the conversation with, there are babies dying. And I said, what are you talking about? And he was watching video from the BBC in, from Romania during the revolution there of babies dying. And he says, what can we do? And I says, look, that's, I, would not, I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. I says, leave it alone. And the next night he called me, he says, there are babies dying. What are you going to do about it? I said, look, Dad, you were sick. He was recovering from cancer surgery. He says, I said, you're sick and I'm busy. I said, leave this. And the next night he says, I'm going. And that began an adventure all the way through to this day that the Camerons rescue orphans that are on the point of being lost to traffickers. When a girl or a boy turns 16 in the orphanage is in Eastern Europe, they're put on the street with a bus ticket, whatever name is of town is on their birth certificate, and they're sent away. And we rescue the perishing and care for the dying. And Melody, what is our challenge that we face right now? Our big, biggest challenge we face today is our Batra village. Um, God has miraculously, we've told the story a little bit on, on here how um, this came into our hands, but it's a, a village of six homes um, that, as we mentioned, were built for wealthy vacationers. 
in <laughs> Moldova to, um, there's, it's just near the, the largest lake in the country. Um, but God had other plans for those houses and they are now in our possession. Yes, they are. Um, for orphans <laughs> that God has saved. What's cool, what's cool is that the yeah. orphan that everyone despises is going to end up living in the rich people's houses. This not about the wealth of the wicked. Like God yeah. To you, to yep. it to you. And um, so we were offered these houses, and we are very close to having them paid for. It's been a year, a year and a half since we we were offered them, and we're $140,000 away from having them paid for. And we'll be able to open them up, and we'll we'll house up to 90 young people. 90 kids, 90 souls that are going to be saved from the, the, yeah. the curse of trafficking. And uh, we just are so excited about this. I spoke about two people connecting. If we all believe together and carry the burden, you and I together can make miracles happen. And as we are praying for your family, and as we are believing God for a breakthrough in your home, we, we are asking you, will you please pray for our family? They're orphans. They're not of my blood, but they're certainly out of my heart. And these kids have no mom and dad to pray for them. No one to believe God for their salvation. They live in horrendous conditions with no hope. And then at 16, they're put on the street with less hope. And God has allowed us, by his mercy, to stand with them in the gap and say, you're not done yet. God's got a plan for your life. I want you to watch this video about, about Vatra Village. And as you do, please ask the Lord what you could do to help us finish this thing because the deadline of July the 1st is coming fast towards us. Watch this. Moldova is a nation in a desperate place, torn between the East and the West, stuck between yesterday and tomorrow. It has the highest alcoholism rate in the world and has been voted the unhappiest place on earth. Poverty and alcohol is a deadly mix. It breaks the home. It causes unimaginable suffering. It creates orphans. Children are abandoned as their parents go abroad to find work. Often, they never come back and children become another statistic in a land of loss. From the orphanage or poverty-stricken village, it is a short step to the arms of the trafficker and a life of unspeakable hell. Standing on street corners anywhere in the world, being sold as much as 30 to 50 times a day. Once a girl is broken, she won't fight back. Lost into a world of shame, pain, drugs, and violence. Each girl can earn their captor $300,000 a year. Trafficking is more profitable than drugs. Yet, in the midst of all this sorrow, a miracle is taking place. Orphans are finding hope through the work of the orphans' hands. They are finding their broken hearts healed by God's love and hope is turning into action. These amazing kids, once redeemed, have an unstoppable desire to help those who have been left behind. They have become missionaries to those who are what they once were. We are growing. We desperately need more space. We have been praying and God has given an answer. Vatra Village. Six homes that will hold 90 kids. Vatra means hearth, a place of warmth and comfort, something most of these kids have never known. These beautiful homes are not yet complete, but by God's grace, they will be the hearth in the heart of many kids who today are alone. In these rooms, Care and love, hope and healing will transform pain into purpose and loss into life. Standing a few hundred feet from Moldova's largest lake, Vatra was sold for over $1 million just a few years ago 
today it has been offered to the orphan's hands for the miraculous price of $600,000. The owners know what we do. They want us to help the youth of their nation. Just think for what two captured girls earn in the hell of trafficking. We can buy Vatra Village, a place of hope to save countless lives. Will you help us to save these broken lives from cold street corners and offer them a hearth, a home? Thank you. I started this program talking about a man who was lying on the ground, paralyzed with no hope. And someone had an idea how to fix the problem by bringing them to Jesus. I'm going to end the program asking for people to take the other end of the stretcher with me. There are young people right now as I'm talking to you with nowhere to go, nowhere to stay, that are at the risk of being caught by the traffickers and never seen again. In the book, every 30 seconds, one of the statistics that, that almost that a girl once trafficked, her lifespan is an average of three and a half years. And we have a village of houses called Vatra that we can finish off. It's cost us $600,000 to buy them. And then it's costing about $50,000 to finish them because they were unfinished. As you saw that montage go past, you saw the house as it was and as we'd finished it. And now Melody's job is to find the furniture for that house. So that's going to cost even more money. But the most important deadline we face right now is we are $140,000 short of paying the houses off and owning the houses. And then we can believe God for the money to finish them and furnish them. And I know watching me just now there are enough people, I know this, that God can speak to your heart to pick up the other end of that stretcher and say, Philip, I will help you bring them to Jesus. You have so much power to pick up a phone and dial 833 Daily Faith. Just dial that and put the name in Daily Faith on your keypad and that will get, that will dial that number. You can help us. If I were to take you to Vatra just now and say, look, I can save these kids from, from hell, from unimaginable hell. And we could buy this village and we could put 90 kids in this place and we can do all that for $1,000. I know right now watching me, there's 140 people that would do just that. If I can get 140 folk to think that thought, then the, the village is secure and it lets us go ahead to finish the houses and furnish them and get them up. Melody, I know you've been there. In fact, you were just there a few weeks ago and th these houses are stunningly beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. Nicer than your yeah. house. Absolutely, yep. But th and that's always been our thing is, is these kids that are coming into our, our, into our houses, it's not, we've treated them as family yeah. so we have done it as we'd want to do for for your own like you'd want to do for your own kids or yeah you do for we yours. always I would always say I don't ever want one of these kids to come to America to visit with us and travel and represent the ministry and have them leave a house that's poor quality and come to our house and think wow this is this is this is what they do yeah. their house is nicer than my own kids house it's as nice and nicer than my own house and we do that deliberately because we don't think orphans should be treated like orphans because they're the children of God. Yeah. He's the father of the fatherless. And these houses were built for rich folk to have summer homes and God had a better plan for them. And I know right now you can, you can, you can give a gift of whatever amount to change these lives. It's not just a house. No, it's the life. Mm -hmm. It's the souls and the lives that are going to be living in it in the future that they have because of those homes. And it's, 
It's a, what a responsibility, but uh, we are so excited. We love it. We're so excited to see years to come, yeah. um, the result and the fruit, the go, fruit of this. If you would go to your phone, 833 Daily Faith, and at the end, there's will be an announcer telling you how you can, get, you can get in contact with us through email or by, by regular mail. But you've never had a greater opportunity to pick up the other end of that stretcher and carry someone to Jesus Amen. and watch their lives being transformed. I pray that you have the faith to believe God with me for a miracle for Vatra Village. We love you so much. God bless. For over 25 years, the Cameron family has been changing the lives of orphans in Romania and Moldova from providing running water, flushing toilets, and clean wells to coal for heat, new windows, as well as food and clothing. They champion the physical needs of the orphans in these broken and desolate countries. Many of Moldova's orphans are saved from the horrors of trafficking through homes founded by the Camerons. And in the process, orphans become daughters and sons. They come to know their heavenly father and are forever changed by the love of Jesus. God helped the Camerons lift these amazing young men and women out of darkness. Now, no longer orphans, they want to return and invade that very same darkness with the light of Jesus Christ. The Orphan's Hands equips these daughters and sons to become missionaries. Your monthly gift of $31 will allow us to rescue and take in more girls and boys, saving them from the hell of human trafficking. Your monthly partnership will allow us to care for those in the Orphan's Hands homes in Moldova and the Ukraine. When you partner with us on a monthly basis, giving a dollar a day, you will receive every 30 seconds, a testimonial book of the lives changed by the orphan's hands. If you want to join Philip and Chrissy in taking care of these precious young people, please contact us today by calling 833-DAILY-FAITH. You can also give by going online to philipdcameron.com or by writing to post office box 242246 Montgomery, Alabama 36124 So many lives depend on what we do. Thank you for loving the lost. Philip would love to hear from you. If there is a need for prayer in your life and you want him to pray for your unsaved loved ones, reach out to Philip at 833 Daily Faith. We believe for great things for you. Contact him today. If you are a pastor, church leader, or business owner and would like to have Philip Cameron come and speak to your church, conference, or event, please call 1-833-DAILY-FAITH or go to pastors.philipdcameron.com or request by mail at attention Andrew Cameron, Post Office Box 242246, Montgomery, Alabama 36124.